Yesterday, one of you asked me how to change the startup security utility and whether you should change it on an M1 Mac when booting up from an external device. So with the M1, the Apple Silicon, came a bunch of changes, including how to enter the macOS recovery. So on the new M1 platform, what you do to enter macOS recovery is press the power button when starting up from shutdown. Press the power button and you can see below the Apple logo that it says continue holding for startup options and if you hold it, it will say loading startup options and just release it. And if you have an external bootable device, it will show up here besides options. So I don't have any external boot up device that I can use as of right now. And if you click on options and wait for macOS recovery to boot up, here you will need to enter the administrator password for one of your user accounts. So I'm just gonna show you real quick why you don't need to change your startup security utility and what you will see on an M1 Mac compared to the traditional uh, Mac OS recovery you will see on an Intel Mac. Okay, so select the system you want to use to set the security policy. You will need to select your internal disk. And if you use Firewall to encrypt the disk, you will need to unlock it by entering your password. And once the disk is unlocked, you can click security policy. Here, you will see either full security or reduced security, which means that there are no options for choosing to allow or disable booting from external media. So, in conclusion then, on M1, you don't have to worry about uh, this step when booting up from an external device.